So in today's tutorial, we're going to go over a basic two light setup for a really traditional in-studio portrait. Um, so I'll be shooting on the Mark III. Um, I am going in between the 85 1.2 and the 50mm 1.2. Both flashes are off camera, so we're using an air remote. Um, both of our flashes are going to be on channel A. We are using an A1 by Profoto. Uh, a B1 by Profoto. We have a three foot Octa softbox for our light shaping device, which is gonna provide a beautiful soft light that's gonna wrap around um, our beautiful model, June, um, in her lovely wedding dress from Planfield in New York. Um, so um, I'm excited to show you kind of like what we have in mind and exactly how we're using each light. Um, so let's get started. As I mentioned before, um, what we're doing here is we're trying to um, get a beautiful traditional portrait. And the reason that we use the softbox, which is our key light, um, is because this is going to create this beautiful catch light in June's eye. So this is our key light. That's what's going to create that beautiful catch light. It's a beautiful, uh, the softbox is a beautiful light shaping tool. It really spreads out the light and allows it to wrap around. Um, our second light is the Profoto A1, and as you can see, we have it pointed towards a white B flat, and that A1 is going to power off, and then it's going to hit the, the white B flat and come back and fill in the back of like June's dress and to fill the photo, so the photo is going to have that soft, romantic um, look. June looks like a fairy tale goddess, and so I'm so excited for you to see these photos, and I'm so excited for you guys to see the photos. And I wanted to share with you our exact settings for each lighting since we're in this smaller space. Um, so our B1, which was our key light, was to set at 3.5, which is really low. Our fill light, which is the A1, is set at 2.0. Uh, my settings on camera was um, ISO 100. My shutter is 160. My aperture is 2.0 for these photos. So um, I hope you enjoy the photos as much as we have enjoyed sharing our little setup with you. And um, we'll see you at the next tutorial.